Let's simplify the process of photography. You know, a lot of people say it's all about the eyes and what you see, that photographers are seers. No, no, no. I don't believe that. The eyes and seeing, they're just part of the tools that we use, like the camera and the lens, the film. It's not the eyes. Anybody can see that has eyes to see. But it's what we feel and what we get out of the heart that matters. We have to convey a passion. We have to convey an understanding. We have to convey somebody's soul under their shirt. The eyes can only help us get there by manipulating the camera and actually physically seeing it. And so what I've seen in my workshops and classes is a lot of confusion when somebody's looking for a subject or trying to figure out a subject or trying to find out the heart of the subject and what to focus on and what to frame and what to include and what not to include. So I've tried to develop a system that's going to take a lot of the guesswork out of that. I refer to it as like a lifeboat drill, something that's practiced every day so that when you do come upon a subject, you'll know what to do instinctively. You don't have to think about it. You'll practice it so much that it'll be ingrained into your working technique. And you can adapt it to your own personal working technique. I'm not trying to tell you how to do it or what to photograph. I'm trying to make it easier for you with a system that I've developed called the five F's. F as in Frank, okay? The five F's, let's count them off. The first one is finding. You gotta find subject, that's very difficult. That's one of the hardest things to do when you're walking down the street. What am I gonna photograph? It could be a rolled up bunch of cigarettes in a mud puddle with a reflection of somebody walking by. Okay, there's three or four elements to contend with right there. So we're finding, we're finding a subject that will appeal to the viewer, that will move the viewer in some way for having seen it. You see, that's the product of photography. To create an image that because of its balance and its visual intensity has the power to emotionally move or affect the viewer in some way for having seen it. And to do that, we have to find appropriate subject material wherever we are. It could be anywhere. We have to find it. That's the first F. We have to identify something. We find it. The second F is figuring. Now we've got to figure out the subject and how we're going to handle it, how we're going to frame it. What are the elements and factors that are present in all subject areas that we figure out that we must include to give the center of interest added strength. It could be part of the surroundings, it could be part of the person's attire, it could be an expression, it could be something going by in the background. But we have to figure it out. All the great photographers did this, they had to do it. It's evident in their photographs. There's always three or four or five elements and factors that they've considered and that are visual in their photographs. They thought about them, they figured it out, they framed them correctly and they presented them to you so that you get the whole picture, so to speak. So that you get enough information to understand what they're trying to convey upon you. So the second F after finding is figuring. Now the third F, framing. Framing is very important. We only have that small 35 millimeter frame to fill up. So we have to fill it with all the important details and factors. We have to get close. It's hardly ever that I find a photograph where the photographer was too close. That's one of the biggest problems in photography today. The photographer is never too close. You got to get in close, but not so close that you get rid of some of the elements and factors that we need to include in the frame. So like I say, there's always three or four of them that when completed and focused on and framed, give the center of interest added strength and a better understanding to the viewer. After framing comes focusing. Very, very important, especially nowadays with so many cameras are having autofocus. We don't want autofocus. We try to use manual focus because most of the time we're focusing on an element that is off center. Usually the autofocus cameras only focus on something that's in the center of the camera. You have to remove the camera focus and move the camera back to take the picture. We don't have time for that. We're street photographers. We have to photograph the instantaneous. We have to have an almost instantaneous understanding of the subject and the elements and factors that make it up. So focusing off center and focusing anywhere in the viewfinder is very important to what we're doing. So try to learn to auto, not autofocus, but manual focus on the subject. Try to exclude the autofocus when you can. After focusing comes firing. Now firing is handled usually by the subconscious. 
After you've handled all the other four Fs, the, frame, the framing, the focusing, the firing seems to go off by itself. It seems to be an unconscious act. So you find the subject, you figure it, you frame it accurately, whether vertically or horizontally. You focus very accurately, and then you fire when the heart tells you to. You can't help that. So please, help adapt this to your shooting technique, and good luck with it. I hope it helps.